Steve Peters with PHNX, another special edition of Walking and Talking. Today we're at the development camp with Sam Lipkin from Quinnipiac. And this is actually his third development camp. So Sam, we're gonna get right into it. Yep. Quinnipiac wins the national championship last year. Not only do they win it, you get an assist on the game winning goal. Yep. Take us through that experience of winning a national championship. Yeah, I mean, obviously uh, I kind of experienced a Clark Cup uh, championship, so I kind of had a little bit of a winning experience, but uh, yeah, no, winning a natty is, uh, doesn't even compare to that. Uh, kind of blows that out of the water, and it's uh, something we were working towards for a while, so uh, I mean, finally just to get over the hump for the school, for, for the community, like, it was just such a big deal for everyone, so yeah, no, I can't, couldn't be prouder to be a Bobcat. So, so you're planning on going back to school this year? Yep, that is my plan. Are you look, is the team built the same way? Do you guys look like, hey, we can do this again, we can repeat? Um, yeah, for sure. I think we got a lot of incoming talent. Um, obviously, our team's going to be a little bit different just because we lost a lot of leadership and uh, a lot of fifth-year guys who uh, really bled for that program and kind of set the culture. And, uh, yeah, no, obviously that last year was a special group, but uh, we expect to have a lot of talent, and uh, we're trying to do the exact same thing. So, How is this? This is your, this is your third development camp. Mm -hmm. And I was just watching you in the locker room, and you're telling guys where to go and what to do with their bags. What's this experience like the third time around? Yeah, I think it. Uh, I think it gets better each time. Um, yeah, obviously being a third-year guy, just trying to take in the younger guys. I know. I, I know how they felt when uh, it was their first year and they maybe kind of lost. Didn't really know sense of direction, but uh, yeah, no, I'm trying to be that guy and give it to them just to make their uh, experience that much better. So you feel so. like one of the leaders here of this Yeah, group. for sure, and uh, I think that's good just to kind of take in a school uh, second hot. year. So, Two oh yeah, 100, 105 Funny. degrees. This heat's killing um, me. Yeah, so I think I'm a leader and I just try to apply it, so. So, the other thing I wanted to talk about as you prepare for these development camps is you're a guy that you got drafted, we'll be honest, you got drafted in the seventh round. Yeah. And you know, getting drafted in the seventh round, that's a path yep. to get here. Do you feel your game has progressed from your draft day to where you're at now? Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm a completely different player. Um, I think a lot changed back then. Um, yeah, obviously, he's a seventh round guy. The odds are kind of stacked up against you, but I look at it. You got to be good enough uh, to play in the NHL anyway. So kind of just take it day by day. And uh, yeah, no, I really like my development so far. So just kind of continue with the process and trust the process and really love the process. We had a uh, kid named Dan Winnick on the show. Mm -hmm. He was a ninth round draft pick, and yep. he said he always went into it uh, not a chip on his shoulder, but it made him work that much harder to achieve some of yep. these things that maybe the first round draft picks are to get more opportunities. Yeah. Do you feel that too? Does it push you and drive you a little bit harder? Yeah, I think I'm a little underdog. Um, obviously, uh, seventh round, last round, I'm second last pick in the draft. Um, I mean, you look at it, uh, not a lot of guys make it yeah. out of there, but um, I really like where I'm at. I really like just staying on my own path and doing what I need to do to get ready for the National Hockey League. Well, wish you luck the rest of the week. Keep an yep. eye on Sam Lipkin. All through development camp, we'll see him again in the fall with rookie camp and training camp. Thanks again for joining me. We'll see you tomorrow on PHNX.